G'day everybody. So here I am in the Cisco office in Melbourne. And by the way, the MCG is just a few hundred metres that way behind you. But instead of going that way, come with me this way. I'm going to show you a little bit about the hybrid experience in the office here. You'll see here if you have a little bit of a pan around at the office environment, this is the first foyer area where our customers and our employees come into the office. One of the really important things we're doing here is first of all, enabling clear visual communications as to what's happening inside these spaces. If you look over on this side, we're showing the current capacity of this space, of the, of the level. And that information is coming from the Cisco wireless access points and the Meraki security cameras, all being fed into Cisco DNA spaces. Now, DNA spaces is able to send this information real time so that we know exactly the occupancy level across the floor. Now, that helps us make decisions if perhaps if it was too highly utilised, I might be able to move to a different floor. Secondly, you'll see here at a glance is I see all of the meeting spaces available. Now, this information is being populated from the WebEx devices inside the meeting rooms and able to send real time information into um, the system to be able to see at a glance what's available. So you know, I could tap here and I could book out the space or I can walk up to each space and I can see its availability based on this little device outside the room now. Let me show you inside this space. I want, to, I want you to see what happens when I walk in because at the moment the system's asleep. But as I walk inside the space, what you'll see here is the system wakes up and it greets me. It detects people as they walk inside the space using the camera and also using the sound footprint inside this environment. And this is the second really important capability in a hybrid environment is enabling people to come into the physical spaces and immediately have it articulated to them what the expectations are inside this space. So you'll see here showing it's limited to four people inside this space. It's been cleaned three times. Sorry, it's been used three times since the last clean. And being able to show that, that information really seamlessly across all of the rooms allows people to come in and use this space comfortably. Now, this space, of course, is a collaborative space. It's designed to be open and allow us to come up and interact with the, the board. Now, I could, first of all, use my voice to join a meeting, or I could tap on the whiteboard button and do some digital whiteboarding in this space, and I could combine the two. So I could be working with people remotely and in person while we're using this device. By having a dynamic environment where we can come and book out a space when we need it, as opposed to booking it well in advance and having that room sitting there booked is going really going to enable us to use the environment in a much better way. So if you come with me and have a look here, I'm going to now book out this space. So you see this one is green as well. You see the one next to it is actually booked out and is red because somebody's using it at the moment. But if I come up to this space, I can see at a glance that it's green and available. I'm going to come and book it out for use. So I tap the book now button. And I can choose how long I'd like it for. Let's take it for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to tap the book button. You're now going to see that that's going to go red. And now it's booked out for me to start to use. And that reflects back into our calendar system. So now all I need to do is come in and start to use this space for my hybrid meeting.